All right, everyone. Today we're going to be riding around the town of Stansted, Quebec. We're going to be riding around here. I'll show you guys all the streets. Just riding around on the streets here. All right, let's go. All right, we're coming into Stansted, right into the town here. It's a little village. So you got your grocery store, your gas station. There's a Tim Hortons here on the right. The gas is $1.55 a liter here. So what we'll do is we'll ride around here. I'll show you guys around. This is going to be Dufferin Street coming up here. The left. We're going to turn right up here, and we're going to turn right on Hackett Street. Yeah. We're going to turn right on this street. I'm just because I'm talking to my son at the same time in the front here. We're going to ride around here. We're just going to ride around the streets here today, everyone. This is Hackett Street. We're going to take Terrell Drive Street. We're going to go down here. We'll turn left here. Seems to be a little get together right here on the left. That's always fun, especially when the weather is nice. This is just like a horseshoe street here. That was a Mr. Demers that lived there on the left. Over here on the right. Right here back in the day was a Mr. Dutil. Right here where, where the Pages live, the Page family. I'm talking about 30, 40 years ago. This was the West family. Yeah. You want to stop for a minute? All right, go. Why, you want to talk to me about something? All right, we're coming up here, uh, coming off of Hackett Street. We're going to be turning right on that. Dufferin Street. All right, nobody's around, so we'll ride around. This is a little park right here, Hackett Park on the right. Right there on the left is Mayo Street. We're going to be coming up to Giral Street. So what we'll do is we'll go by, we'll go up Main Street here a little bit. I'll show you guys a little bit of the stuff going on here. Got the church coming up here on the right. Used to be a the post office over there. Coming up here on the right used to be a place called the, the Maples Hotel. This used to be a bar right here. This place right there. Have the church, funeral parlor. We've got a museum here on the right. Colby Curtis Museum. Coming up here, I'm gonna turn here up here on the left. I think this might be Park Street. This is where the old 
high school was the convent. It used to be called the Pensionnat des Ursulines in French. Then here you got middle school. I don't know what it's called now. It's called Jardin des Frontières. I'll look it up what it used to be called. Then over here on the right they have the arena. This is the Pat Burns Arena, the new arena they built, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. I'll go up to the end here. There's a ballpark up here. I'll put the camera back in. There's a ballpark up here. I'll show you guys. There used to be ball tournaments and ball games and stuff like that going on. Oh, they got something going on up here. I don't know who's, who owns this now, but they're going to be building something. I see here's the ballpark. Got some tennis courts. It was probably built 40 years ago. Right here in the winter time, right in front of us here, you can see it says up on that little sign, the Raymond Parent skating rink. In the winter they make a skating rink right there. So we'll go down here. We'll, we'll hang it right on the street over here. We'll go up in the back streets here. Like I said, I was just riding around in the streets. I'll try to name some of the streets for you. If I happen to remember some of the houses of people that used to live there, I'll let you guys know. I moved away from here over 30 years ago. So this is a little Papineau Street. So we are July, we're in the month of July. So right here, was where the good souls lived right on the corner here on the left this is Wyatt Street I mean all it's all new people that live here now most likely but I can remember we had they had some kids that were my age look at all the nice cedar hedges here on the left This was where the Curions used to live. I don't know if they still do. See, it's an older neighborhood. See the highway is right back there, straight ahead there, that's the highway on the other side of the pickup there. When I was younger, right in front of us here, that was where the bay houses used to live. I'm, when I'm talking about it's always it's because they had kids that were my age. This apartment building here on the right, that was built probably 40 years ago. Right here where, where the LeMays lived. This is a dead end up here. St. Joseph Street, now we're coming on a little Cartier Street. This is where the town municipal building was where they had the trucks. Somebody cut a big tree right here. Half the job is cutting it, the other half is picking everything up. So right here, this is Giral Street. This is where my grandparents lived back in the day. And right across the street from them here, there used to be a sawmill out back there. 
Right here was the Roy's, Conrad Roy. And out back there used to be a sawmill back in the day. Yeah, because that was my grandparents lived right there. Yeah, it was out back there. When I was young, we lived right here in this house when I was under 12 years old. We lived in the apartment underneath. So we're coming back up onto Dufferin Street here. We'll take a quick ride over by the Stansted Legion, then we'll go up Mountain View Street. If you have any questions for me, Matthew, let me know. So we're coming back by the church right here on the right. See here on the left is a little convenience store with De Panar in French. When we, when we were younger, it was the Pelerins that had that. And before the Pelerins, it was the, um, oh, what was the name of those people? The Dubes, Dubes, Dubes that had it. Post office up here on the right. Another little ballpark for the small kids over here on the right. This is, they always had like a little league for the small kids here. So right here on the left, we're going to be coming up onto Mountain View Street. And here is the Legion right here, the Stansted Legion. Place for people to get together. So we'll drive up Mountain View here. When I was younger, this street did not, was this wasn't even, the street didn't even finish here. Behind the Legion part was all uh, fields. Because the last house was the house, the brick house you see on the right here. That was the Goodrose. Right there. That was the last house on the street coming in from the other side. Coming in from the way we're going, we're going towards. I think it was right there. That was the Goodrose that lived there before they moved up uh, on the highway. Then you had the, the Bouchards here on the left that had the... Uh, grocery store or down in the town of Rock Island which has now become Stansted because you used to have three towns here you used to have Stansted, Rock Island and BB but when they did the, when they got all together cut down on expenses it all became Stansted so that's why you get over here towards the this end of the street you're gonna have some older places here that are probably close to 50 years old you have some newer ones built too but a lot of these are older places when we come up around the corner up here, you're gonna have a primary school, Sunnyside Primary School. Then you had a house here, right on the corner here. It used to be the Slacks. The Slacks had that. They had an in-ground pool. They were like what, some of the only people when I was young that had an in-ground pool. So here's the Sunnyside Primary School. That's an English primary school here in the province of Quebec. And straight ahead is the Sansa College. Sansa College is a private high school. Great big campus, huge campus. All right. So we'll ride around. We're back on Dufferin Street. That's the main street. So this is where the town of Rock Island used to start. It was right here. You had the Dr. Bouchard's office here on the left, it was the town doctor. On the right was the municipal building for the town of Rock Island. We're going to be going down the hill here. I'm going to be hanging a left halfway down the hill here. We're going to go show you the old arena that used to be where we played hockey when we were youngsters. I'm going to look to see what the name of the street is here. We're going to be turning here Riverside on the left. For some of you people that remember this, right here on the right, if I remember right, the Buzzles used to live right here. That was a family. I think that twin boys, I'm not, I think, I'm not sure, I think they're older than us. I had a friend that lived over here, it was a Farley. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was over here somewhere. So coming up here on the right, 
is going to be the old town arena. I'll pull down here so you guys can see it. So this was the arena. The town arena where we played hockey when we were young. Now they built that big new one, the Pat Burns Arena. The Sanstead College, the school we just went by, is up here. So that's the old arena. All right, we'll get out of here. You okay, Matthew? We'll get back on Dufferin Street up here, the main street. All right, coming up here, we're going to be downtown Rock Island, which is Stanston now. Right here on the left is going to be a place called the Del Monte. Used to be a bar, bar, hotel, restaurant. Right here was the Del Monte Hotel. Over there was a pizzeria, Steve's Pizzeria. You got customs over there in the United States, so it's right ahead there. We'll go over there. I'll go turn around over here. This used to be a bank. This was a liquor commission. Everything is, it was a restaurant here. Everything is pretty well closed. So here's the Canadian customs right here. If you go straight ahead here, you're gonna be in the United States. You're going to be Derby Line, Vermont, in the state of Vermont. So here is Canadian Customs right here. car alert so we'll be turning left up here so this is gonna be railroad we're gonna be going on to railroad street here drive down along here I'll hang a right down here right down here on the left that green roof that used to be Lang's I think it was there or behind there was a Lang family to live there all right we're gonna hang a right here passenger street right here This here used to be the Lucier's lived here. The Lucier family. It's apartment building right here. Western Avenue right here. I had some friends that lived down here when we were young. We had the Boucher's lived over here. Next door were the Dupre's. I'm talking about when we were like between 10 and 15 years old probably. There was a shop down here, I'll go show you guys. It was called Spencer's. There's another tree that's been cut right there. 
They left everything right in the yard. Right here was the Spencer's. I think it was a glove shop. Or, no, no, this was a undergarment shop. I think right here, I'm not quite sure, but I think, I don't know if this is where the Warrens lived or they lived on the other corner. I'll go see. No, the Warrens were right here. All right, we're gonna stop because I have something going on. I had an uncle lived right here. I'm gonna turn right here. This is Holland Street. I think these houses were all built right after the war. I'm not quite sure, but I think that's what it was. Right here was the Dubois. One of the Dubois boys lived there. He had this Corvette. When I was a young kid, he had this Corvette and he still has it. That'd be from the early 80s. I don't remember, it was the oldest of the Dubois boys. They're a bit older than me, than me and my friends. So we didn't, it wasn't people who hung around with, but I remember the car because I was a car guy. Yeah, because that Dubois that lived right there, his parents lived right here on the left at Brown Place. They lived right there. All right, coming up here on the right, is a lot of you guys will remember, this is Billy Boo and Como. This was the Chrysler Plymouth dealership. And right across from us, right here, right in front of us here, this is United States. There's a river just down over the bank here called the Tomophobia River. And that's United States over here. Oh, we got an old car alert coming. Old car alert. It's like an old duster. And a new car alert. Challenger. All right, so I'll show you guys right here. Billy Boy come on. For some of you guys who remember this. This is the old uh, Chrysler Plymouth uh, dealership right here. The Como family, the Billy Boo and the Como families owned this back in the day. This was their little showroom right there. And there was a house. One of them lived here, there was a house. Now I don't know what it is. We're gonna head down this street here. And we're gonna end up down on Canusa Street, which is a street that's half American, half Canadian. I'll tell you guys when we get down to it. Right down here on the right was this road you'd take to go up to the pit. There was a gravel pit up here where we used to go hang around, do for, uh, biking, uh, dirt biking and stuff right here on the right. Right here was one of the Como's that had the garage back there, lived right here on the right. This is a little bridge, a Tomophobia bridge. The river's right under us here. So this is gonna be Canusa Street. I'm not sure if we're on it yet, but we're coming right up to it where we're going to be half in the United States, half in Canada. For some of you guys that remember it, right here on the left was uh, the garage that had the garage, had a mechanic garage right here on the left on the way by. Of course, I'm talking about stuff from 30, 40, 50 years ago. You can see the custom sign right there for the 
customs, it's written in French, douane. All right, so we're gonna be coming up. Canusa for sure, we must be on the beginning of Canusa right here. So up here on the left is gonna be United States. And on the right is gonna be Canadian. So on the right hand side is gonna be house that are in Canada and on the left hand side is gonna be house that are in the United States. The town is gonna to be called BB Plain in the United States. Because this town here is all Stanston now in Canada, but it used to be called BB back in the day. So as you can see right here on the left, it's all gonna be American. I'll show you guys the license plates on the cars. If you can cash out on the way by, look on that pickup, they'll have a green plate on it. I don't know if you saw that. That's the United States and over here is Canada. So you'll be coming up here, it'll be the United States Customs on the left, and on the right is going to be the Canadian Customs. So this street, so you end up driving in on the American side right here, across the lines of the American side, the yellow lines right here. But you don't have to report, as long as you stay in Canada. The Fluettes used to live here, so this is the Canadian Customs right here. <laughs> See, this is Canadian Customs here, and right here is American Customs, United States. Welcome to the United States, BB Plain, Vermont. So you see that house right in front of us, right there. Half of that house is in Canada and half is in the States. See, so these bikes just reported right here. This used to be a hardware store here, I guess it still is. And out back over here was a Rock of Ages granite shop. Out back here, one of the biggest granite suppliers and uh, shops of business that does that kind of stuff so now right here we're in Stansted we'll say the borough of BB all right so let's just drive along here Right here on the right was the curling club and up here on the left is going to be a little store convenience store it's still uh, there still is one you see all these boats here because they're heading down to the lake we'll take a ride all the way to the lake i'll show you guys where all these boats are going Right up here, right here, this was a church, and then right next to it was Joe Mac, uh, Bo Mats. Bo Mats was a, a company. This used to be the fire station for BB. We're gonna turn down here at the gas station, which used to be LP's gas station. This is gonna be Junction Street. This used to be where the Bavarian used to be. There was a bar here called the Bavarian. Maybe some of you guys watching this video will remember that. The next big uh, thing we'll see is gonna be the canteen, a little restaurant place, which was only open in the summer. It was the Labbe family that had that. The God Boos lived here. This year used to be a big wood lot back in the day, way back in the day. So up here on the left, back in the day was like a little restaurant, only open in the summer. Hot dog, hamburg, cheeseburger, stuff like that right here. Wood. I'm gonna turn left right here. North Derby Road. So this road here, I'm gonna show you guys, we're driving along here. This is called North Derby Road. These houses here on the left are gonna be in Canada, but just their neighbors behind them are gonna be in the United States. When we get up here a little further, you'll notice, you'll see the neighbors behind them. That's gonna be United States. Must be it's big garbage time or something because there's a lot of garbage out.
Yeah, it must be a big garbage time or something because there's a lot of big garbage around. the border here with the United States and Canada. That old TV. So right on the other side of those trees over there, that's going to be United States. As we get up over here, along these houses, we'll start seeing houses behind the houses. That'll be on the American side. There are the kids playing with their dirt bikes. I guess way back in the day, there used to be some kind of a, I don't know if it was a customs or what down here, where you could go through right down here, yeah, right here. See, it says Canada Customs up on that building right there. So I guess that used to be customs probably 60, 70, 75 years ago. All right, we're gonna head down to the lake. So we're in Ogden right now. You look at the sign right there. See the sign, it says Ogden. That's the next town over. So that's gonna be a lake, Memphis Magog Lake. In Ogden, that lake it goes into the United States, into Vermont, into Newport, Vermont, the town of Newport. Starts up in Magog in Canada. It's like 26 and a half miles, something like that. And it goes all the way from Canada to United States, from Magog, Quebec, Canada, to Newport, Vermont, United States. So don't forget all this is just me riding around here showing you guys stuff around Stansted, the town of Stansted, with the borough of Rock Island and BB. So this is Marlington Road right here. I'm going to be turning left up here, uh, the old church here. All right, so this is Cedarville Road right here. So we are in Cedarville, Og Ogden. So coming up on the left is going to be the great big uh, Rock of Ages yard where they get their granite out of the ground. I'll stop, I'll show you guys the hole in the ground. Pretty impressive. I'll show you guys the hole here. In the ground, this is where they get all their granite out of. The 
Great big hole in the ground. So this is the Rock of Ages quarry right here. We'll go look at this sign over here. See what it says. Stansted Granite Quarries. All right, we'll keep going. We'll head over to the pier in Cedarville. Yeah, right there. Back in the day, coming up here where the McIntyres lived right here on the right. I think they still do. We see a lot of old Ford vehicles in the garage. And there was another one of his brothers lived up here on the right too. I had a body shop back in the day. Because I'm a car guy, so I remember that. Yeah, right here on the right. We're just out of town of Stansted here a bit. Cedarville Road, Ogden, the lake is going to be up here on the left hand side. We'll take a ride over to the pier, show you guys the pier. Then we'll probably call it a, a day for the video. buy it we'll go up here on the left back in the day when I used to come down here you had to go way up here on the left but I, I saw we just drove by on the left there was a there was an entrance we'll go up here and we'll grab it So here's the pier, we're coming up on the pier so you see all the trucks and the cars with the trailers behind it. One must have just come out of the water here, see all the water. So you see that bike down there, so we'll come here and we'll park on the, on the pier here. I'll get out and I'll show you guys along here. Cedarville Road, I don't know if this is Ogden. I think this might be Ogden. See there's people riding around with their boats. And got another couple here with a bike. I'm gonna go show you guys the sign over here. That sign is to report yourself to Canadian Customs when you're coming from the United States. Because straight across over there, that's United States. That's gonna be Vermont. That's gonna be uh, the town of Newport. Here, you see there's like a little, what would that be, camping place over here. Look at all the people, a lot of people in the water, a lot of people over there in the park. We got the family fishing right here. If you uh, would be on boat, you could go up around the bend here. That'd be heading towards. Uh, that would be Georgeville. 
either going towards Georgeville and going towards Magog. So I'll show you guys here. See that over there with that uh, boathouse way off in the distance. I don't know if you, the camera's picking it up, but straight across there's a boathouse. That's an island. See, there's two islands right there. That island right there, I think it's called Pheasant Island. So I'll go show you guys the sign right here. It's going to be Canadian, Canada, Border Service Agency. This is going to be for customs when you're coming in from the United States. You go straight across, like I said, that's the United States. You can come in from there from with a boat. Then you have your sign right here. And that little yellow phone right there. That's to report yourself at customs. Instead of being on land customs, it's on water. Beautiful day today though. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this. So we'll see you guys next one. Don't forget to subscribe. All right. Adios, amigos.